Hey, what's up guys? Chase with iDub Hockey here. Today we're gonna be checking out the new Top Line True A6.0 SBP and HT sticks at the same time. This year, True came out with a new low kick called the HT, standing for hair trigger, and then we have the SPP that has their Smart Flex mid kick technology. So we'll go through the specs, give you our thoughts. Now for both, squared corners, double concave sidewalls, giving you that nice, comfortable, but secure hold in the hands. We're gonna feature Xenic True One Piece design. And this makes for ultra consistent wall thickness from top to bottom. For you as a player, it makes the playability very consistent. It gives you great responsiveness, excellent energy transfer, and also just a real high balance feel in the hands. For materials, the premium 3K carbon twill with smart play technology. It's a strategic layering pattern that really combines responsiveness with durability. But the kick point, this is where we see the differentiation between the HT and the SBP. Uh, the SBP features a mid kick with smart flex technology, really designed for that power shooter, looking to load up, trying to get as much power out of each shot as possible. On the flip side, the HT has the low kick, so designed for those players, trying to get the puck off as quick as possible, and primarily generating shot power with their wrists. Into the blade, Still have that 3K carbon twill, but their new BRT Plus technology, significant upgrade from what we saw in the original version, about 20% stronger. Still have the braided rib tube that gives the blade its structure and support that it needs, but they extended it further into the heel this year. This allowed them to use thinner walls, which helps to reduce weight. Like I said, improves the durability too. The big talking point, aside from the durability, is the balance feel in the hands. This removal of weight allowed them to redistribute it into the shaft, so it feels lighter than it actually is, but it also allowed them to reinforce the shaft for better durability there too. Now, as far as the weight goes, 415 grams in both the SBP and HT in an 85 flex. Gotta say though, real excited when I found out they're bringing a low kick to the A6.0. Uh, consider myself more of a quick release shooter. I know a lot of people out there are, so great to give them an option at this pr top price point and hopefully they'll offer a couple more affordable price points in the near future. Now, as far as improvements go, real cool to see the BRT Plus technology. Uh, so really giving you a uh, slightly lighter stick that feels lighter than it actually is and gives you that real good solid durability. If you're looking for more info though, hit that shop now button, give us a thumbs up on the video and make sure you're subscribed to the number one hockey gear review channel on YouTube. See you guys next time.